Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss unification in first order logic with the help of simple examples. In the previous video, I have already discussed what is unification and what are the conditions to perform unification. Link for that video is given in the description below. In this video, I will discuss the unification process with the help of uh, simple examples. In the first example, we need to find the most general unifier for the given two expressions. So, in this case, uh, the two expressions are p, b, comma, x, comma, f of g of z, and second one is p of z, comma, f of y, comma, f of y in this case. So, between these two, we need to perform the unification and then we need to find the most general unifier in this case. So, what we can do here is uh, first we will check whether the predicate symbol is same or not. In the first case, the predicate symbol is P. In the second case, the predicate symbol is P. So, the predicate symbol is same in both the expressions. The number of arguments are 3 in the first case. The number of arguments are 3 in the second case. So, we can perform the unification here. Now, I will apply the unification process on these two expressions. So, first what I will do is I will replace this Z by B here. So, the theta is equal to what? The theta is equal to Z should be replaced with B. So, once I replace this z by b, the expression looks something like this. In the first expression, we have z here. So, that is replaced with a b here. Similarly, this particular z is replaced with b in this case. Now, uh, what we can do is, so we can replace this second variable that is x by f of y. So, if I do that particular thing, the expressions will look something like this. That is, x is replaced with f of y. The remaining is the same. We have not done any changes over here. Now, if you look at these two expressions, uh, still there is one more variable that is uh, y. And if you look at this third argument, the third argument is f of g of b. Here we have f of y. So, in both the cases, the function is f here. So, this y can be replaced with g of b in this case. So, if I perform that particular thing, this uh, b will remain the same here. This f of y will become f of g of b and f of g of b will remain as it is this b will be as it is this f of y will be replaced with f of g of b and this f of y will be replaced with f of g of b in this case so once you perform uh, these three substitutions we will get both the expressions looks identical the meaning of this one is the unification is successful in this case and the unifier in this case is z should be replaced with b x should be replaced with f of y and y should be replaced with g of b in this case I will take one more example. Again, we need to find the most general unifier for these two expressions. So, this is the first expression. This is the second expression over here. So, first what we do is uh, we will try to look at these two expressions carefully. The predicate symbol is Q in both the cases. The number of arguments are 3 in the first case and the number of arguments are 3 in the second case here. First, what we do is we will look at the first argument. Here we have A here. Here we have A. There is no need to do anything here. If you look at the second one, we have the function g, we have a function g here, x comma a, f of b comma a is present here. So, what we can do is we can replace this particular x by f of b. So, if I do that particular thing, the modified expressions will look something like this. This x is replaced with what? f of b here. And uh, in the second case, the x is present over here, that is also replaced with f of b in this case. Now, what we need to do is uh, we need to replace this y because y is another variable here. To replace this y, we need to check the third argument. Third argument is f of y here. Here it is f of b. So, between these two, the function is same. So, that's the reason we can replace y by what? b in this case. So, if I replace y by b, the expressions will look uh, something like this. a g of f of b, a as it is. This f of y will be replaced with what? f of uh, b here. On the right hand side, there is no any substitution here. So, this is the final expressions over here. And if you look at these two expressions, both are exactly same in this case. The meaning of this one is the unification is successful. And the unifier is x should be replaced with f of b and y should be replaced with b in this case. Now, I will take one more example. In this case, again, we need to find the most general unifier for these two expressions. So, in this case, uh, the predicate symbol is same, that is uh, P in the first case, P in the second case. There are two arguments are there, F of A, G of Y in the first case, X comma X in the second case here. Now, what we can do is, uh, we will find the substitution so that uh, we will make these two expressions uh, looks identical. 
for that reason what i will do is uh, initially here we have f of a and here we have x so what i will do is i will replace x by f of a in this case so once i perform that particular thing the expressions will look something like this p f of a g of y second one wherever there is x we need to replace it with f of a so p f of a f of a in this case now what we can do we have to replace this particular uh, y with some other uh, uh, what we can say that the constant or the object here but if you look at here in the second argument we have g of y and here we have f of a here so the function is different we cannot replace y by a in this case so because we cannot replace y by a and uh, both the expressions doesn't look identical you can say that the unification is not successful over here so in this video what i did is uh, i have explained how can we perform unification between the given two expressions in the previous video, I have already discussed what is unification and what are the different conditions to perform unification. Link for that video is given in the description below. I hope the concept of unification is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.